you still be on the outside, instead in the stinking jail cell. Don't go blaming me. We're all firing our cannons off into the bay. Yeah, but you're the deadly sharpshooter of the bunch. Slitter, well, you leave my Nelly out of this. What fur? Your wife done nailed the deputy straight between his eyes, and now look at the mess we're in. Yeah, just like Wyatt Earp. Oh, my God. Yeah, I want to shoot like that one day. Shut up, bub. Oh, you brothers look grand. Your bub is such a dunce. You tell Dimwit he ought to be thankful he got fired his pistol at all. I heard his rounds went straight to the ground, killing a bunch of cockroaches. Well, none of us would have been shooting in the first place if you'd have kept a lookout instead of picking up your petticoat in front of all them cowboys outside the saloon. And anyhow, I did feel your lead blowing past me from your double barrel when you finally decided to come back and cover us. Maybe it was you who shot the old bull. You, you want to hear something? Uh, well, the sheriff done asked me who shot the deputy, and if we gave him the true answer, he said, the rest of us can all walk free. Have you lost your mind? Hold up, Nelly. Let's hear him out. Well, as the sheriff was throwing me in this here cell, he said his name was going to be in all them fine papers from here to the Rio Grande if he brought the true killer to justice. Says he only needs one of us. So... Which one of us we gonna finger to get that llama and his notoriety? Make sure it's not you, Cracklin. I may be older than you, but you're wiser, and I rely on you. Oh, hell. The plan was going so well, and then just like lightning, it all went wrong. No one knows for sure it was Nellie. What with all that shouting and them greenbacks flying everywhere. Now hear me out, y'all! Claim, Cause my skills are sharp and cheap. Well, I'd like to take my aim. They might call me Annie Oakley Cause my targets are on three. But if you want a real gunslinger, a real gunslinger, it's not me. I'll play poker with the sheriff and I'll take the whole damn pot. Just like Jane on Charm the Cowboy. Oh, calamity, you're not. I will pour a shot of whiskey in my morning cup of tea. But if you want, Killer, I respectfully decline. I believe that life's worth living, and I'd like to go live mine. If you're looking for a hero, if you're hoping for a saint, if you're thinking I'm a decent man who take the fall, I ain't. Holy cow! And since we all agree that it's not you and it's not me, I think it's time to think of a plan B. We'll dig ourselves a tunnel and make our great escape. All we need is a shovel. Oh, your plan is taking shape. Shucks, that is so nice of you. I'll lead us like I'm Jesse James. I know I'll get a spray. And if we leave it up to him, I'm pretty sure we'll have. I'll be pushing up the daisies, but at least you'll all be free. And if they ask who had the brains, who had the brains? tell them it was me. I think it's time to think of a plan C. Bang. Yeah, like taping up Dimwit's mouth. Blinda, you stop throwing stones at my brother. Your heart's so full of black tar that you... Blinda ain't got no heart and her soul is full of prairie oh, colors. I heard just about enough out of your wobbling jaw. Not yet, you haven't. Sheriff, she done it! Oh, she no, she no, 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 come on! Wait, 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 wait,
on your friends. You cannot make amends. Never faint, never tell. Even stuck in a cell. Never, never, ever, ever rat. But she deserved it! Maybe she did and maybe she didn't. But you're a stool pigeon now, Nelly. And you're a good-for-nothing louse what I ever get from you. Uh, Tootsie Rose! That is just so dumb! Well, what'd she get then, Cracklin? A planner. A solid husband. <laughs> My stand-up man. And I bet you think hold-ups are your means of providing for me. Listen to y'all. No talk, just babble, babble. Pete leading us down the road to this hellhole. You know, the only thing you ever had over the rest of us was some gumption in your muscle. <laughs> and when I hear, your biggest muscle's right down there in your drawers. It is? Give her brain a breather, bub. And Belinda, why don't you let your mouth take a breather? My husband's hung stallion is no business of yours. It's hanged, not hung. And that's not the only thing that's gonna be hanging around here. You're so full of piss and vinegar, you goddamn mutt, you make me wanna puke insinuating it's me who's the one who's gonna be lynched. Why you gotta blasphemize me, Pete? I got no vendetta against you. Except y'all's been ganging up on me for forever, it seems. But truth be told, it's Nelly I can't stand. to do, Nelly. Oh, I don't think your husband loves you. Not even a teeny weeny bit. Oh, let's not get personal. Actually, it is personal. Because if that sheriff heard all your dang spouting about me, you just sentenced my child to death. And you're what? You? Yeah. I'm a child. Were you meaning on telling me this before next year's crop don't rise up from the ground? Well, I didn't mean to break your heart, but I was planning on leaving you, Petey. I gotta think of a baby. <laughs> but now I'm gonna be a pa. There's some good that finally comes from me. I can touch the one that makes us three. You'll get cowboy kisses from me and the missus. Yeah, right. Wait and see. With a wagon for a crib, a handkerchief bib. I can't wait to meet my next of kin, and I bet I'll make him laugh and grin. My mind's not so nimble. i
you walk out of that jailhouse front door. How are you gonna do that, Cracklin? I always loved you, Nellie. And I always will. I'm gonna turn myself in. <laughs> oh, Petey, think about what you're saying. A murder wraps a death sentence. That's the great divide. I'm ready to take it on. Take good care of her and the baby, Pete. Pretty woman, I'm gonna be right there by your side. I thought you was hoping and praying to take me to the boneyard. I was, but now I ain't. We'll stick together like family. Well, Cracklin, I'm staying here with you. Now, why would you go and do something so ain't got no other word for it than dim with it? We'll look handsome in the headlines just like Ma has picked our clothes. Going down to church on Sunday, we'll be praying, I suppose. You always took good care of me, I'll do the same for you. And when we tell them what we've done, the words will all ring true. Freedom is an inside job, it's where I want to be. And when they ask me who I love, you can tell them it was me. There's some good that finally comes from me. Yeehaw! If you need a fearless leader, I respectfully declare, I believe that life's worth living. You'll be living yours out there. If you're looking for a hero, you no longer have to wait. I'll see you on the other side at the pearly gate. Yeehaw! As we make a final stand, the headlines and the tombstones screaming, Brothers named the Grand. When we're pushing up the daisies, making all the flowers grow, when they come to ask who done it, that's when everyone will know. It was me. It was me. You and me. And wherever among the daisies, I will pick up a tree.